Hey folks, Doxy here, and I'm going to be showing you a minor variation of the default Reservoir Mob Sorter that I showed you in the previous video that compensates for the high traffic area of the exchange because with spiders going left and skeletons, creepers, and zombies falling down and their heads popping up here and spiders not really wanting to do what it is you want them to, this can get really clogged really quickly and if there's any sort of backlog at all of mobs they can possibly take drowning damage and the whole point of the system is to minimize the likelihood of mob damage so that when it comes time to kill them you are actually able to harvest the experience. Now there are only going to be two modifications to this. One for the tall mobs and one for the spiders. Now the easier modification is definitely for the tall mobs. And the problem that tall mobs have are that when they fall they'll try to swim up and as their head jumps up here they can block spiders from moving to the left here and if spiders are blocked, the whole system can get clogged very, very quickly. Now the simple, easy, and obvious solution to this is make this a 3-high drop. And in order to do that, and here you can see what we're working from, is the same reservoir and sorter. Spiders come out this direction, and tall mobs just fall straight down. Let me just put this on here really quick. Spiders will come through this hole, and tall mobs will just fall straight down here, you'll see that, is to make it a 3-high drop, so that when they jump up here, their head can't quite make it to the congestion area. How many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... And just put that in there. Now the tall mob transportation is one lower than that one over there. Now when you do this you get the opportunity to make a nether modification because as mobs come through here they will typically have that high jump that you saw me do. So they'll be jumping up here trying to swim and they'll actually be able to make a particularly high bob and they'll he their head will typically clear into the congestion area. And to get by that, you simply break out this single block right there. And it's of course a good idea to block it off on both sides so you don't get the random arrow in your face. And as far as the tall mobs are concerned, this is about as good as you're going to get. It's three high, so they're not going to take any damage any more than that. They could because there isn't much of a water flow down here. But then they can't jump into the congestion area anymore. Spiders, and this is the first time I get to say this, spiders are always another thing entirely. Spiders are just annoying. And if you haven't learned that yet, then you have my condolences, because you probably will all in due time. And the problem with this and efficiency is that this flow right here is flowing at a diagonal to the rest of the mob sorter. And so that means that some of the force is actually pushing the spiders sideways into this block right here. So ideally, you'd want a flow of water here pulling them directly out of the system. So that means that we have to move this water flow so that it is completely in line with the rest of the mob sorter system. And in order to do this, you're going to need some more signs. Put one here, and one here, and this may not be the optimum placing, but just watch and you'll get the idea and you can do your own variation, you're certainly free to do that. You don't have to do what I do. And put in some more signs. 
and I welcome you to come up with your own variation of this. So now, as the spiders come through, and I think I can put a spider in here. It'll come up, go through, and be pulled straight across. And to keep them from going anywhere that you don't want them to go, as best you can at least, just put a roof and some siding on it. And then you're good to go. Now you'll need to drop the spiders into some other sort of piping, but that's going to be covered in the next section. One suggestion that I might make to somebody who wants to work with spiders is consider placing another row of signs here, because I'm pretty sure mobs still recognize signs as solid blocks. So if you put them here, they might be less inclined to climb up and then block the system from way the heck over here. Still possible, still going to happen, but might make it less likely. And if you have the resources, might as well go ahead and do it. Right, so now that this is done, I'm going to be moving on to the linear version, which is the one that you should build if you built the linear version of my mob tower. But if that's not your thing, go ahead and move on to the third step, where I'm going to be showing you the mob piping. Or move on then again to the mob crusher. I'm going to be walking you through that step four. And once you get that straightened out, again, there's going to be the final step where I show you how to automate the entirety of the process, flip of a switch, kick back, relax, and reap the benefits. Oh god, this is a mess.